Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review and next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Retro Spider-Man Fan Channel exclusive J. Jonah Jameson with his Daily Bugle newspaper. So this is just a really nice fun figure. We did kind of in a roundabout way get a J. Jonah Jameson figure in the Hasbro line before. It was um, the Chameleon figure way back when in the Rhino Build-A-Figure wave. We had that interchangeable head sculpt for J. Jonah Jameson. And it looks to be the same head sculpt that is included here. But of course, in that Chameleon figure, you bought it for Chameleon. And then it came with the extra head for the JJJ. And the um, uh, tombst Tombstone? What? Hammerhead. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. The Hammerhead head sculpt, which I don't think um, really represents Hammerhead too well because I think he's just really undersized. But, you know, it was something that we could have done way back when. The little army building that I do when there's inter different interchangeable heads, this is kind of what I do. But J. Jonah Jameson, um, I got mine from CMD store in uh, Canada, the Canada retailer. So it hasn't hit any U.S. retailers yet. Um, but I would imagine soon-ish. I know initially all pre-orders and everything said January, uh, but they would have said that for Canada too, I believe. So who knows when they'll be coming, like the Black Cat. GameStop has already had in stock, I think, a couple of times. Uh, but love the retro style card, um, the throwback to Toy Biz, the Spider-Man animated series. So I love everything about it. We get this nice artwork of J. Jonah Jameson there um, on the side. Looking at the back of the picture of the package, I mean, we actually have uh, kind of the silhouette of the figure and whatever gimmick he's supposed to do was he's just holding his Daily Bugle uh, newspaper. Uh, but the bio for him reads, tough, gruff, and loud, J. Jonah Jameson is a force to be reckoned with in the boardroom and on the front pages of the Daily Bugle. As the newspaper's editor-in-chief, Jameson is a perennial thorn in the side of both Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So speaking of Peter Parker and Spider-Man, I will do a comparison with with Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So let's get to it. Okay, and there is the J. Jonah Jameson figure out of the package. And he is a fun one, but he is also a fairly basic one. But I'm not sure that they could really do anything else for J. Jonah Jameson. If anything, this this old suited body is just a little bit small for my liking. If they use a little bit of a bulkier figure like the, the Nick Fury from Captain Marvel, uh, that suited figure I think would work a little bit better because these ones always tend to have kind of a hard time standing up. Like, I have him standing up now, but he could probably fall at any moment, um, and you just kind of have to really work it out and balance um, with his feet. But let's get in for a closer look at the accessories because he has some really cool things. Like, the rolled-up Daily Bugle is really cool, but then the printed newspaper is also really cool and really bad at the same time, which is pretty crazy. So let's zoom in for those right now. Okay, so for accessories, the first thing he had is, is is the rolled up Daily Bugle newspaper. As you can see there, it has it nice and printed. It looks like a rolled up newspaper, so that is pretty cool. And then actually just slips right on in the open holding hands that he comes with. So out of the package on his right hand, he has an open holding hand. He has a fist for the left. He has a, a replacement left open holding hands for the newspaper. And then his right, he has a pointing finger hand, which has the opposite hinge, um, as you can see there, which has the uh, the vertical hinge. Um, so that is really cool. That's what he has for accessories and I lost a hand somewhere. Um, but the really cool and really bad thing about the newspaper is it looks incredible. I mean, look at that Wilson Fisk criminal part or criminal past Oscorp, not guilty of fraud, daily bugle, spider sham, mask miscreant menaces, Manhattan. I could just picture JK Simmons saying he's a menace menace. Um, so some really cool things actually in the newspaper. I actually have to take a, I kind of have it far away, but there's some things to read like Mysterio back behind bars. Quentin Beck, uh, was apprehended on Saturday night. He awaits trial at Rikers Island, cat burglar at large Queens area threatened by a rash of burglaries. Multiple eyewitnesses claim to have seen a white haired woman dressed in black leaving the scene. So black cat, which will be the next review. And then we actually have an awesome look at Spider-Man, which looks like it's a figure um, that they use a picture of. So that's really cool. And then looking at the back, some really cool things as well. So Daily Bugle, Electro speaks out, uh, Spider Borg sighting. So the Cyborg Spider-Man, which we know is coming. I actually have one on the way because it has now just hit 
down in Southern California. So should start be should start rolling across the country here fairly shortly. No street date on that figure. Um, Nelson and Murdoch attorneys at law and Empire State University apply now. So I'm not going to read those. Uh, but this thing is really really awesome. What sucks about it is I thought this was going to be like um, a piece of plastic, like a thicker plastic or some kind of card cardstock. Um, it's it's paper. It's it's going to crinkle, it's going to fold, it's going to get creased, it's going to get messed up. But it's amazing. I really like it. As you can see there, it is paper thin because it is paper. Oh, why paper? Use a nice thick cardstock or even plastic and it would have been so much better. Now, it's a very smooth um, paper, so it's not just like super thin, rough paper. Um, it, it is smooth, so there is some durability to it. Um, just not the most so that that's unfortunate because I'm really worried that something is going to happen to this the way I store my accessories um, is all in like baggies like this and then I put each wave in its own individual bag type of thing so I'm really worried of what's going to happen with this um, so that's just a little unfortunate so now let's take a closer look at the figure Okay, so for that up close look at J. Jonah Jameson, this is in fact the same exact head sculpt that we got previously in the Rhino Build-A-Figure Wave. A couple of differences, his eyes aren't nearly as bright blue or um, I guess there's a little bit of difference, but they both do have blue eyes. We have white hair instead of gray hair on the new one and his eyebrows are much, much bushier. Um, other than that, it's fairly same. We get a more of a matte finish as opposed to some of the shiny plastic um, paint that Hasbro used to use. So that is another difference there. So the new one definitely has an overall better look to it, especially since because um, it's something that he would have actually worn instead of a blue suit, which didn't really make sense at the time. But hey, we, you know, we got what we got, right? Um, the rest of the figure is reused, so it's the suited body, um, the torso, the legs, everything. The arms are going to be different. These are going to be the same arms and stuff that come with like uh, Ulysses Claw from the Black Panther movie with the rolled up sleeve um, and the single jointed elbow with the swivel actually at the elbow um, there. And then we get a new tie, so it is the same torso, but instead of just you know the t the straight tie, we actually get this flowing tie because if he's you know in a rage and he's you know mad at the world, calling Spider Man a man. Um, that tie can kind of be flowing out and it's just got a black and red stripe pattern to it his vest is brown um, with tan nothing really special going on there We've got a little gold buckle for his brown belt brown shoes and then again these are terrible trying to get him to stand the way they are designed so not a whole lot going for it uh, but does look really good and really represents J. Jonah, same, J. Jonah Jameson uh, very well so let's zoom out for that articulation. Okay, so JJJ, J. Jonah Jameson, his articulation, he can look down that much. He can look all the way up, which is great. You get all kinds of pivot going in there, so you can do all kinds of crazy facial expressions on what he might be doing because he's a pretty animated guy. Of course, you get the full swivel going on in there. The arms can go up that high. You get a full rotation, of course. You have an upper bicep swivel, but you only have a single jointed elbow, which gives you, uh, looks to be actually just under 90 degrees there, but he has the rolled up sleeve, which really does hinder that. Um, but, you know, I think it really gives it a better look, and he's not going to be super dynamic or anything so I don't think it's going to be super necessary that you would to have double jointed elbows or anything like that wrist swivel and then we have the horizontal hinge but again the pointing finger hand does have a vertical hinge so that one is different he has an ab crunch so he can crunch forward that much he can crunch back that much the vest gets in the way a little bit but you could still get him to go back there is a waist swivel in there of course legs go out that far apart which isn't very much he can kick forward um, that high the way you work it out so that is actually pretty good going back doesn't really go back a whole lot you have an upper thigh cut in there a double jointed knee like so um, and then we have some crap ass ankles that I absolutely hate on this figure so it can go up which is actually flat and then it could go uh, down a little bit you do have ankle pivot in there which is pretty good but again this is just a problem because you can't really move it back up and sometimes it feels like it just doesn't go up enough so you really have to be careful and then the heel portion of the foot 
is just super thin, so you want to be careful uh, with that as well. I just really hate the design um, of those ankles, so that's why when like the Nick Fury figure came out, that was like a blessing because um, he doesn't have ankles like that. Um, usually this figure is hard to stand, but apparently I'm just having all kinds of luck in the world this evening to get him to, st to stand. Um, so now let's see this full-on side-by-side -side comparison of J. Jonah Jameson um, in the retro line and the uh, Rhino Build-A-Figure with. Okay, so side by side we have our two J. Jonah Jameson figures. So this new one just really blows away um, the older one. But I'm curious, you guys let me know down in the comments below. Do you like the gray hair or the white hair? Um, do you Did you do the same thing with Chameleon? I know he was hard to find because that arm piece for Rhino is like crazy expensive last time I had seen it. I'm curious if you guys did the whole army building thing to have three for the different heads. Um, looking at the new J. Jonah Jameson, let's look at him with the retro Spider-Man figure. And he is just way bulkier than J. Jonah Jameson. And then let's take a look at his photographer, Peter Parker, which uses a lot of the same pieces, the same legs, the same torso. Um, the shoulders might be the same. Shoulders might be different. Uh, but Peter Parker uses different shoes, which helps balance him a little bit more. And he just kind of towers over uh, J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson quite a bit. I know I'm slipping all over J. Jonah Jameson's name tonight um, and saying it quite a bit. Uh, but they all look very good. So we have our Daily Bugle crew of the photographer, editor-in-chief, and the menace of New York City. One of my concerns um, before we wrap up the video with the newspaper, you know, we have this the, the interchangeable hand. So I think one of the promo picks, this is basically exactly what it shows. So we get the holding hand in his left. We'll pop the right hand out. We'll get the pointing hand in there so he can point at like the newspaper. But the open holding hand really holds the Daily Bugle rolled up Daily Bugle quite nicely. Um, so like the newspaper, he just doesn't hold it as well i'm not sure how they were actually able to do that because it's not working out so much for me you could do maybe this and but then i'm starting to like fold it and stuff yeah see i i don't know it's just it's kind of a poor design that's why i think you know a thicker plastic it would have looked weird i guess from the side but the functionality of it i think would have been a lot better because he's just not going he can't he just can't hold it but on his right hand i was actually able to get him to like hold the newspaper now of course while the hand isn't on the figure itself I'm not gonna I'm gonna have all kinds of problems, but I was able to do it earlier. Yeah, so that's 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 the other problem with the newspaper. I just can't get him to really hold it properly. Yeah, see, I don't know how everyone was able to really do that. It just it's not gonna work for me. So that's just a really poor design idea for an accessory that just had so much potential to be cool. And it it, it still is. Um, just not as cool as I would have liked if it was plastic so we can get really good use out of it. So um, that's really unfortunate. You guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the newspaper being paper or would you have preferred plastic? We probably wouldn't have gotten this much detail and actual wording and story to these articles. Um, but I think the functionality of it would have been so much better. Okay, so my final thoughts on J. Jonas Jameson real quick. Um, the Spider-Man Retro line has really been a highlight for me. Um, I love the variety and characters that we've gotten. Um, yes, you know, we've gotten them all before Armored Daredevil, you know, with lots of new parts and things like that. Um, but I'm just really impressed with all of the figures that we've gotten in the line, you know, repaints aside. Um, I'm very happy with them. The Spider-Man figure is just absolutely fantastic. We got a freaking Peter Parker figure, Gwen Stacy. Um, and now we have J. Jonah Jameson, a new black cat, which I don't think was necessarily needed, but she looks incredible. So I am super pleased with how the retro Spider-Man figures have really come out. Um, and on, on top of that, the Negative Zone Spider-Man, Cyborg Spider-Man. Um, so I'm just really loving it. Retro fit carded figures I, I already love throw on top of the fact that it's Spider-Man and Spider-Man characters and throwback to Spider-Man the Animated Series, um, which really got me um, not 
all the way because I was already loving toys, you know, when I was a kid. But those action figures really set me on the path for my love for Marvel. Um, it, you know, that show, Spider-Man the Animated Series, is really what set that off. So having, you know, all these different characters from Spider-Man, um, I, I'm, I really, really, really appreciate. So Hasbro, thank you. I think you have done a fantastic job with the retro Spider-Man figures. But you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts um, on those um, on this figure and on the Spider-Man retro figures in general, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.